Hello, I am Inyo Zalea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to create this wave kind of effect in Adobe After Effects. It's a very easy effect to accomplish, but um, well yeah, I'm here to explain how I have done it. So you have multiple ways of doing this, using masks and so on, I'm going to use the Turbulence Displacement effect. Let's get started, going to a new composition, we're going to name this Intro Wave. And then we're going to create a resolution of Full HD, so that's 9020 by 1080p. Um, make it 24 frames and 5 seconds long in duration, and then click OK. Going to a layer, new, solid, and we're going to change a background color, so name it background. Going to the color, we are going to pick a slightly, uh, well, almost black kind of color, but slightly blue. So you always want to pick uh, something different than black or white, because black or, or white is pretty boring to, to see, uh, to watch, and it's going to have a, lo a lot more professional look if you're going to add a slightly color uh, changement in there. So clicking OK once you have done that, and OK. So now we have a background color, and now we can add our text. Going to Layer, Text, we can enter Tolerated, because it is. It's tolerated. Okay, uh, once you have added your text, you can center your text by going to the alignment and horizontal, uh, horizontal center alignment and vertical one. Uh, if you don't see this tab, you go to window alignment and, well, yeah, now I ticked it off, clicking it back on and center our text. Okay, uh, you also want to center text in the paragraph uh, tab, but you can also find that at window uh, paragraph, okay. And now we have our text and what we want to do is pre-compose our text. So if you want to change it later on, you just have to change it one time. Okay, uh, so going to layer pre-compose, tolerated underscore text. There we go. And now we have one more thing to do before we can start doing our animation. Going to a new uh, solid, well, actually a new composition. And then we're going to call it solid displacement base okay and change it to 2000 by 2000 hitting enter going to layer new solid if i'm going too fast just pause the video while you're working on your project i'm getting a lot of complaints that i'm going too fast sometimes but it's just up to you to pause your video doing your changement in after effects coming back and clicking play or in time scrubbing well I'm doing my tutorials as fast as I can for people that do understand After Effects and if you don't just pause it just once in a while, it won't hurt, really. Okay, so uh, change your solid settings to 1800 uh, to eight, uh, by 1800, so that's 200 pixels smaller than the composition size and that's what we want, we, ha we want something with a margin around here. So once you have done that, we can drag in the project panel we can drag our solid displacement base to a new composition that's going to make it solid displacement base 2. We click this open and there we have our composition of our base. Why we do this is now our composition is the complete solid integrated in our composition. So if you don't understand that, I don't really care because you're still going to have the same results as I do. So going to effect dis distort displacement, turbulence displacement, you're going to see the effect taking place. If you would do this on this uh, on this solid, it won't take displace and it won't take effect. Uh, by going to distort turbulence displace, you can see that it's not happening because the solid is just 1800 pixels and right here it's taking the margin as well. So I'm not really sure how to explain that, but I'm sure you can figure it out by yourself um, by watching what you're doing. So once you have done that, we can change the amount and size and just play around with it. Uh, maybe a little more, more amount, so something like 85 should be fine. And changing the size, but not too much. Uh, well, change it back to 75 by 110. Okay. Um, maybe we should increase the size more to like... Oh... <laughs> 130 okay so something like this uh, is fine once you have done that we can animate our evolution our evolution is going to animate our displacement and that's going to give it the cool organic look so what we want to do is hold alt on the keyboard so just hold alt and click on the stopwatch right over here and then we're going to add an expression which is very easy just hit time 
times, let's say 100, okay? And now it's going to animate over time 100%. Uh, percent. So there we go. We have our animation. So what we want to do now is going back to the intro wave comp. That's our first comp with the background and the tolerated text composition. And we are going to drag in our solid displacement base too. So drag it in here. And we have our animation which is bigger. Okay. Um, oh, that's why. We'll change the color just to, to see the uh, effect because right now you can't see anything uh, going on. Just going to effect, generate, uh, generate fill just to, so you can see the displacement. Okay, so you don't need to do this. Uh, if you have another color uh, color to the solid over here, it's going to work as well. But I just want to uh, want to add some clarifications to the tutorial so you can see what's going on. So uh, now what you want to do is click on the tolerated text put it above the solid uh, displacement base too and going to track mat if you don't see this track mat option just click toggle switches so you, then you will see uh, different options going to the track mat we are going to select alpha mat tolerated text and that's going to make only this displacement visible what you want to do now is click P on the keyboard to reveal the uh, position of the base Clicking the stopwatch to create your our first keyframe, but make sure your time scroller is at zero, uh, zero timeline. Okay, clicking on the stopwatch right here and moving forward two seconds and clicking a new uh, keyframe by clicking on the add or remove keyframe at current time. Then click on the left arrow to go back to the first keyframe and we're going to move our composition down by holding the shift key. It's going to have a straight line like this until you don't see your text anymore now it's going to animate over time revealing our text and we're going to go back to two seconds and make sure it's just revealing our text because right now it was already revealing our text at one second and that don't we don't want that we want to make it animate from zero to two seconds and at two seconds we want to see our complete uh, text so something like this okay once you have something like that, we can change the color of our text to fill white, well, almost white, as I said, and take a slightly blue color. Uh, color. You don't have to pick a slightly blue color. It can be slightly orange if you want to. I just like blue, and yeah, that's why I took it. So clicking OK, we're going to select both layers here. So tolerated text and solid uh, displacement text, uh, base 2. We're going to select them both by holding the shift key and then you can select multiple layers. Then we're going back to edit, duplicate or command D. And then we have a duplicate of this uh, text. Now we're going to offset it like this and it's going to make a double animation. So the first one is going to take place and then the second one. And what we want to do is just change the color on the second one to something more blue. And then we want to duplicate it again by Clicking these two, duplicate and move it ahead and then we're going to change the color to even more blue like that and then we're going to duplicate it again. Okay, offset it like this, change the color to even more blue, maybe going up, there we go. And one more duplication and offset it like this and make it our final color that we want to give it so uh, there we go okay so now if I'm going to animate this over time I'm going just back to our previous one and I'm going to make it a little bit less obvious okay so now if you're going to preview that we have our effect taking place and then it's up to you on how much you offset it if you want more to reveal of our colors and uh, separations you just put them uh, more uh, more apart or you can clo uh, make them closer uh, closer together <laughs> I'm not getting out of my words here uh, so you can put them closer together by selecting these two moving them like this and then your effect is going to be just faster it's as easy as that okay Let's preview that and that's looking pretty nice. Okay, so here we have our final look. Uh, if you want your final color to be white, you can also change this one to white, whatever you want to. Okay. 
So this was a complete tutorial. It's that easy and in, uh, indeed. So um, very simple tutorial. I hope you, that you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like and press the subscribe button if you want to see more. Um, visit my channel if you didn't already. And yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.